Spain woke up with a political hangover on Monday after an inconclusive election result the night before. It means that no party can form a government by itself and no coalition government looks viable either. Instead, there may be weeks, perhaps months, of political negotiations which may only result in yet another election. The centre-right popular party won the most votes and finished with 133 seats. But even if it joins forces with the far-right Vox party, as many predicted that it would, it still won't reach the crucial 176-seat threshold to form a government. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez's Socialist Party did better than expected. It got 122 seats and the leftist Sumar group got 31. So could there be another leftist coalition? Well, only if Sanchez teamed up with the Catalan separatist party Junts. Under Sanchez, tensions between the state and the Catalan independence movement have dialed down. But what concessions would the separatists demand for entering into a coalition with Sanchez? Carles Puigdemont is the leader of Junts, but he lives in exile in Belgium and is effectively a fugitive. Spain wants to extradite him and put him on trial for staging an illegal independence referendum in 2017. Many analysts are now saying the most likely solution to the political mess is to go back to the voters and hold another election.